Hi, thank you everyone for coming for February's Check It Out with Vista. Um, we sure are happy that um, these presentations continue to be well um, attended and um, any of your ideas moving forward is greatly appreciated. You can contact me or Bob um, via email and, um, and we'll throw around your idea and see what we can come up with. Just uh, so you know, next month for the month of March, we will be having North State, which is the storefront there located at the San Jose office. They're gonna come and, and um, talk about a few different um, pieces of equipment. We're not exactly sure on what they're going to be yet, um, but stay tuned, it's going to be exciting. Um, we're very glad to have mm -hmm. them with us. And today we welcome Katya from Voxmate. And Voxmate is an app for Android phones. And I'm going to welcome Katya. Thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And um, hi to everyone from Estonia. Estonia is a small country near Finland. It's in Europe, uh, Eastern Europe. And uh, it's already eight o'clock in the evening here. So good morning to you and good evening to me. Good evening to you, Katya. <laughs> thank you, thank you. So thank you for coming. And let me just start by telling you a little about Voxmate and how this idea uh, was born. And why did we do Voxmate? And then I'll jump into demo of, of our app. So um, some years ago, my father lost his sight uh, unexpectedly. And he was in a hospital. He had to stay there for a while. So while he was in a hospital, he wanted to do quite simple things like listen to the radio, read the news, uh, listen to the books. And he had his Android phone with him, with him and he wanted to do it on his phone. So we tried ourselves to learn screen readers so that, to, so that we can teach screen readers to him. But at that moment, and to be honest, until this day, it's uh, screen readers are just too much for him. So we tried some simple solutions uh, in the beginning, like for example, we uploaded some uh, um, audio books uh, to a simple MP3 player with the buttons, and that was quite enough uh, for audio books for a while. But then we thought that maybe we can create something that would be, you know as intuitive that it can be used uh, from day one after vision loss. And this solution is nowadays called Voxmate. And the idea was that we would do such a thing that can become a stepping stone in the assistive technology. So that day one, you don't know how to use screen readers. Day two, you take Voxmate. And maybe after a while, after a couple of months, you even start learning screen readers and become more comfortable. Uh, with screen readers. So why Voxmate and what is behind it? It's like we have this metaphor of four gestures and this metaphor four gestures like swiping up, down, left and right to navigate and to get access to anything in Voxmate is uh, very interesting because it's very intuitive. And although I appreciate screen readers, I understand that this technology has changed so much. I believe that there is also room for some other tech and some other interfaces, let's call them audio interfaces, that could become more intuitive. And so that, you know, um, they are also quite interesting to use and they are just, um, at some point, they're just fun. So after some months of development, we got our first prototype into the hands of a couple of blind people here in Estonia. And after a while, we invited 100 people from all over the world to jump on board, to give us feedback, to test, to verify the idea, and to say what they like and what they don't like. And we discovered that even experienced screen, with screen reader users, they like this um, simplicity of like simple interface that Voxmate has. Meaning that, for example, in the news app um, that we have in Voxmate, you don't have any pop-ups, you don't have any ads jumping out on you. And so that makes the whole um, listening to the news experience much better. So we call Voxmate an all-in-one app, and that means that Voxmate is a platform, and on this platform, there are various apps. 
currently we have 20 apps, but we have an idea um, to enable any developer uh, create apps for Voxmate on their own. And so that would increase amount of apps that we have on Voxmate as well. But the important thing to remember is that Voxmate will always continue be used with just these four swipe gestures, up, down, left, and right. You always swipe up or down to move between the options. You always swipe right to choose the option. And you can be confident that by swiping left, you will always get back, um, back to the main menu, back uh, to the previous option. So it's like you, you, you can be confident in this uh, gesture. And Voxmate is not in that sense a traditional screen reader uh, because it doesn't work directly with other apps on the phone. Instead, it has its own audio apps. Um, and some of these apps are our own creation and some of them are adaptations of popular services. For example, we have a YouTube app or um, also, for example, a Telegram app. Telegram is an uh, instant messaging like uh, WhatsApp, but different. Gallery so view. another Meeting. like interesting thing about Voxmate is that it works with a completely blank screen meaning that you don't have to rely on any buttons, on any headings, any kind of text. It works together with, with, uh, with TalkBack on, on, uh, on Android phones, but it, but it can also work without it, and it can also work with text or without any kind of text. So let me just try share my screen. Okay, I, I can do this, but, but it's fine. Okay, so... Um, Option space currently and with this with this um like unmuted. four swipe gestures most of our users feel comfortable with the uh, voxmate within a few minutes even if they have never used a screen reader so let me now just jump uh, to voxmate it's connected to my computer so you will be hearing everything that i do on voxmate and i will also like talk and explain what i'm doing so currently, I'm just swiping left to get, you know, back to Voxmate, just introduce it. Basically, it's just a blank screen. Uh, it has multiple um, options. It can be black screen and white letters, or it can be orange screen and black letters, or it can be blue screen and white letters. So it's like a different contrast uh, for, for different needs. So, you can think of Voxmate as a browser. And Voxmate apps, our older first apps, are like websites, meaning that every time you open the app, it is updated to the latest version and you didn't have to do anything for that. Now, I'll be going through some of the apps today, but first I will just try to give you the sense of, of Voxmate. So I will be swiping down now to go through the categories of, uh, of the apps that we have. So just swiping down. Entertainment. Social. Games. Resources. Utilities. Early access feedback. Settings. It's now 8.16, 57 p.m. You have phone. And now I'm back. So it's, it's like a usual thing in Voxmate that you can just go in circle and just get back uh, to the beginning. Now, we have divided these 20 apps that we have into multiple, uh, into six categories. And for example, under entertainment, there are such apps as news, audiobooks, YouTube, um, and something else. Uh, we, will, we will get to this uh, later. And so, um, when you first install Voxmate, you go through a tutorial. And because my Voxmate is already installed, I don't have this tutorial playing, but I thought that I will just go into the tutorial to give you the impression of, of how it works. So to get to the tutorial, I'll just swipe uh, multiple times up until I hear settings. It's now eight, seven. Settings. Now I swipe right to choose this option. Manage subscription. Now I just get to the help section. Preferences. So meaning I swipe down. Login to portal. Permissions, plugins, launcher, help. Now I swipe right. Tutorials. And here we are in tutorials. So now I will be swiping right. And after that, I will be doing exactly as Voxmate tells me to, tells me to do. So swiping right. Part one, basic navigation. Welcome. This is a short tutorial to show you the basics of Voxmate. To skip the tutorial, draw a counterclockwise circle on the screen. 
to use boxlet, you mostly need four swipes, up, down, left and right. Try swiping up. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick up. Try swiping down. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick down. And that's what I'm doing, just swiping down. You use up and down swipes to jump between items in menus. Try swiping left. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick left. And let's suppose I didn't hear that, so I'm swiping Imagine that up. there is a... Try swiping left. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick left. So now I'm just swiping left. Try swiping right. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick right. And let's say I'm just... I don't know. Wait Imagine that there is a crumb on the screen, and you are trying to brush it off with just one finger. Try swiping right. Put your finger in the middle of the screen and flick right. Okay, swiping right. Use the swipe right gesture to activate an option in menus. Use the swipe left gesture to go back. Let's try all the gestures together. Try finding banana in this menu by swiping up or down. When you find it, swipe right to activate. Apple. Okay, apple is not banana, so and it asked me to find a banana. So swiping down. Orange. No. Mango. No. Banana. Yes. So I have found banana, and here I just swipe right. Try finding banana again, but this time from a submenu. Vegetables. No, it's not vegetables. Fruits. Yes. Swiping right. Apple. No. Swiping down. Banana. Yes. Swiping right. Now you've got the basics to start using Boxlet. Pay attention to this sound. This sound indicates a helpful hint. Hints are repeated a number of times, but then stop. Here's your first hint. Did you know that we have more tutorials? You can find them in settings, help, tutorials. Part 1 Basic Navigation And this is how the tutorial goes. Now I noticed that my TTS is quite fast. So for the purpose of the demo, I'll go to settings and change speed of my TTS. Tutorials. Frequently asked. Troubleshooting. Tutorials. Frequently asked. Help. Quit Boxmet. Manage subscription. Preferences. Text to speech. Change voices. So here I just swipe. Voice speed is 50% faster. Here I swipe right. 50% faster. Swipe up. 25% faster. Swipe up again. Normal. And here I choose the normal option, so I just swipe right. Voice speed is normal. And we are uh, now on this normal uh, speed. So now I'll be swiping left until I get to the main menu. So I'm just always can swipe left. So text to speak preference setting box 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 mit. phone. Okay, so you can interrupt Voxmate at any point in time. Um, it doesn't get disturbed by that, and. Um, and this is what I did currently. So instead of waiting until Voxmate tells me something until the end, I was just swiping left. Okay. So you start your, your um, way into Voxmate with a tutorial. But after that, for example, uh, one of these useful features that we have is a clock. And clock is on this time trial, which is one swipe up from the main menu from home. So here I'll just swipe up once. It's now 8 21 46 p.m. You have 27 unread Voxmet notifications. Swipe right for details, messages, and weather. And I will do just that. I will swipe right so that you can hear what weather is like here in Estonia. 27 unread notifications. Today is February 4th. Your battery is at 100. The temperature outside is minus 4 degrees Celsius but it feels like minus 11. Swipe right for more details. And I will ju do just that. I will swipe right. Overcast clouds. 27.8 kilometers per hour southern winds. 85% relative humidity. 1,001 hectopascals atmospheric pressure. 100% relative cloud cover. The sunrise was 11 hours and 56 minutes ago at 8.25 a.m. The sunset was 3 hours and 38 minutes ago at 4.44 p.m. And this is it. So this was an indication. This last sound was an indication of the end. Okay. So uh, this is how you get to the weather in Voxmate. But let's suppose you would like to listen to an older book. So how would you do that? Well, in Voxmate, it's always like I'm trying to get to the main menu. And from there, I'm trying to find an option. So again, from here, I would just swipe left until I get to the main menu. The temp it's now boxmet phone okay now i would like to find this category that could be suitable for audiobooks 
So I would swipe down once. Entertainment. And I think entertainment is this category. So I would swipe right. World news. And here I will just go through the list of apps to find audiobooks. So I will be swiping up. Tune into radio. Listen to podcasts. Music on my phone. Browse YouTube. Listen to audiobooks. Here it is. So now on listen to audiobooks, I just swipe right. LibriVox audiobooks. And currently we support only LibriVox audiobooks. So again, I would just swipe right. My bookshelf. And I already know that I have some books on my bookshelf. So I would just again swipe right. The Hound of the Baskervilles by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. And this is, in my opinion, an amazing choice. So again, I would just swipe right to, to go to the book. Continue listening. Swiping right. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, who was usually very late in the mornings, save upon those not infrequent occasions when he was up all night, was seated at the breakfast table. I stood upon the hearth rug and picked up the stick which our visitor had left behind him the night before. It was a fine, thick piece of wood, bulbous-headed, of the sort which is known as a Penang lawyer. Just And so this sound that you heard was a pause uh, for Vox. And you usually can use it in any situation, really. So whenever Voxmate talks to you or whenever any playback is active, you can just pause Voxmate. And I did that to showcase that in almost every app, we have this special menu. So while you are in a playback, it's usually it's useful to just swipe right to hear the additional options that we have in this app. So here I would just, you know, unpause Voxmate and then swipe right to hear what options we have. What can I do with this audiobook? Under the head was a You are listening to section one of 15 Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Sleep timer. So one option would be to set a sleep timer for five minutes or for one hour, whatever you like. Okay, so another option would be to go to the beginning of the section again, swiping down. Go to next section. Swiping down. Set playback speed. Sleep timer. And we are back. So again, circle is made and we are back to the beginning. Okay. So this is what you can do with audiobooks. Um, let me just go back to the main menu of audiobooks. So swiping left a couple of times. Broad silver band. Continue listening. The Hound of the Bat. My bookshelf. Okay. So here I can again swipe up or down to go through the set of menus of options inside audiobooks. I'll just go uh, swipe down. Browse books by genre. Here I can go and through, like LibriVox has a lot of genre. So you can go through this and just manually find a book, but also search. I can search for a book and here I can search. Search by title. By title or swipe down. Search uh, by author. Search by author. And in Voxmate, you can input text in multiple ways. One of them would be to use this extra gesture, double tap and talk. Uh, sorry, double tap and hold, and then you can talk. And then Voxnet would just uh, transcribe what you have said and then search for this uh, item, for example. Or you can also use your Bluetooth keyboard to type in, or you can use, um, so let me just um, showcase this. I'll just, again, swipe right here on search by author. Edit, max 100 chars. Now we are in the editor. And so here in the editor, I would just, you know, swipe again down. Open keyboard. And I would open keyboard, so I swipe right. Showing keyboard in landscape, charge port to your right. Okay, so the keyboard option is really a love-hate relationship among our users. So some people <laughs> love it and some people don't uh, that much love it. But the idea was that um, we would create a keyboard that is um, big. So it's like it takes the whole screen and it's in a landscape mode. So this is the only place that works as a touch type in Voxmate, meaning that I can drag my fingers through letters. And then once I have found a letter, I just lift the finger up and this letter would be uh, chosen. So let me just showcase you. For example, let me try try typing Doyle. So K-J-G-D-D-F-T-Y-U-I-O-D-O-I-U-Y-O-H-L 
Doyle. Okay. So now I can uh, close the keyboard. Again, I just have to find this button. B G T R E W close. Okay, so now it's closed. Now this Doyle text um, is, is written, and here I just swipe right to multiple times to confirm it. And you will hear this like sounds indicating that you're you know bumping somewhere. Doyle. Here and here I just swipe once more. And now it's uh, searching for uh, condo books. 1891 collection by various. One of 202. Okay, so uh, there are 202 search results and, and I can just go through the list of search results here. So here is how you can find another book and here what you can do with the books in uh, audiobooks uh, app in Voxmate. Okay, so let's now suppose that you want to do something else, for example, you would like to call another person. So Boxmate only on Android, um, there is such thing that you can take over um, default dialer and Voxmate can be set as a default dialer. And that would mean that you can make and receive all calls uh, through Voxmate. Again, I'm just going back to the main menu. So swiping left. Search by set. Liberal, listen, entertain. Box, Boxmate. Phone. And phone is the first option. I'll just swipe right. KD. Okay, and so KD is my starred contact on this uh, phone in the in the phone book, and this is why it's um, literally the first thing you get when you swipe on phone. And if I would like to call myself uh, here, I would just again swipe right. One call mobile. Swipe calling, and the call is outgoing. So here I have another phone, and here it, it you can see that um, not see maybe, but but here is that Voxmate is calling another phone. So on the screen currently is written um, who am I calling that I am calling, and that you can swipe left to cancel. So if you try to receive the call, you will have to swipe right. So here I would just swipe left to cancel the call. Call not connected. One. Call KD. Okay, so now I'm back to this first option in the phone app. So here again, what things we have in the phone app? Like everything that you probably need for, for or, or that you expect uh, from the phone app. So let me just swipe down. Phone book. We can go into the phone book that you have on your phone. And there in the phone book, you can find the contact, you can start a contact, you can change a contact, you can add a new one. Uh, course as well and under the contact you can change you know details but also for example add or delete a phone number so let me just swipe down from the phone book again dial a phone number you can also dial a phone number uh, with a numpad and this numpad is also um it's not touch type so it's it's also like you have to swipe to get to the letters um but it's it's, it's actually quite quick okay so once recent again, call we can go to recent calls and make a call from there, or for example, add a contact from recent calls. Settings. Some settings to um, adjust your phone book, how you would like to find contacts. KD. And we are back to the beginning. So uh, this is the phone app that we have. Okay, so what else? Well, there are some games. You can play tic-tac-toe with other people um, on Voxmate or for example, such game as uh, Four Colors. Um, or you can play Sudoku, Math Doku or Quiz. And we will probably be adding some uh, more games. But I thought that I would also showcase our news app. So again, I'll go back to the main menu. Phone. From here is swipe down. Entertainment. And from here is swipe right. World news. And here we are in the world news. Again, I would just swipe right. Sky News. Uh, Sky News is from the UK. We have multiple uh, providers here, like I think almost 25, maybe 30. But um, if you find any provider that you would like us to add, you just can um, ask us or send us um, a proposal to add this provider through a uh, feedback app that we have inside or through an email, of course. So on Sky News, I just, again, can just swipe right. 
all articles. And here I have all these subcategories that usually you have on the website. So there are all articles, but I swipe right for, or swipe down, for example. UK. And I get to UK category. So let's go into the UK, swiping right. Fifth aid quits number 10 as Exodus puts Johnson on the ropes. One of 10. Here we can understand that there are 10 articles and this is the first of them. So swiping down, for example, will take me to the second. Tory MP says PM's position, untenable, as he submits letter of no confidence. Two okay. of 10. Now to listen to this article, I would just swipe right. Another Conservative MP has submitted a letter of no confidence in Boris Johnson. Aaron Bell, MP for Newcastle under Lyme, said the Partygate allegations and the Prime Minister's subsequent handling of the fallout has made his position untenable. Okay, so I just pause Voxmate. So this is how it goes. Basically, you can go through the list of articles, listen to any kind of article, and if you don't like it, you just swipe left to go back. Tory MP UK. Okay. So there are many things that I haven't yet covered. Um, for example, we have such a thing as an audio forum. It's a place that we first created for our users to just give us feedback or, you know, just to ask uh, for Voxmet help. But then we thought that maybe this is also a nice place for everyone to just chat, to ask anything about anything and to give um, and receive um, some help. So this is an interesting place to visit. Um, also, for example, we have an OCR app, app which is um, quite good in detecting any printed text. Also, there are notes, um, and you can take notes even from the main menu, just double tap and hold and start talking, and um, this would be your notes, and it will be recorded. And also, we have some social uh, components such as uh, Telegram. It's an instant messaging app, um, quite popular uh, for its uh, security reasons. And um, again, you can have your um, groups there. You can chat with your relatives, friends, and like anyone who is uh, on Telegram. For example, there is such a group that we fancy called Blind Android Users. Um, and I think it's a very useful uh, resource for anyone who would like to use uh, Android phones. So I think this is all from me in terms of the demo part. And now I would be happy to answer any questions you have.